In the quiet twilight of their years, many seniors face a silent adversary incontinence. This issue, often shrouded in shame and discomfort, can strip individuals of their dignity and independence. Yet it is a condition that demands not whispers, but bold conversations. As society progresses, it is imperative that we not only discuss, but also address the challenges of incontinence with the respect and empowerment that every senior deserves. Thus begins our exploration into transforming this often ignored facet of aging into a journey of dignity and support. Incontinence is not merely a medical term, it's a condition that affects nearly 50% of seniors, influencing their health and daily lives profoundly. It involves the involuntary loss of bladder or bowel control, which can range from slight leaks to complete loss of control. The physical implications are significant, but the psychological impact is profound and often more debilitating. Many seniors suffer in silence, fearing the stigma and misunderstanding associated with incontinence. Contrary to popular belief, incontinence is not an inevitable part of aging, but can be managed and treated with the right interventions and support. The emotional toll of living with incontinence is heavy. Feelings of embarrassment can lead to social withdrawal and isolation, trapping seniors in a cycle of secrecy and solitude. Personal stories from individuals like John, a 72-year-old retiree, illustrate the deep sense of shame and decreased self-esteem that can accompany incontinence. John's journey from isolation to seeking help underscores the critical need for supportive mental health resources. By fostering open dialogues and providing empathetic support, we can begin to dismantle the barriers of stigma and enhance the mental well-being of our seniors. Incontinence can significantly disrupt social interactions and relationships. The fear of accidents leads many to avoid social gatherings, diminishing their quality of life and exacerbating feelings of loneliness. This social isolation can be combated by promoting understanding and openness within families and communities. Support groups and social activities tailored to the needs of seniors with incontinence are vital for reintegration and improving life quality. The physical complications of incontinence extend beyond discomfort. Skin irritation, infections, and an increased risk of falls are common challenges that need proactive management. Implementing routine skin care, using appropriate incontinence products, and maintaining cleanliness can mitigate these risks. Additionally, educating seniors and caregivers about these complications is crucial for prevention and care. Accessing the right medical support can be daunting for many seniors. The healthcare system can be complex, and finding the right resources and specialists is crucial for effective management of incontinence. Primary care physicians can serve as a valuable resource, guiding patients through the options and connecting them with specialists like urologists or geriatricians. Diet plays a critical role in managing incontinence. Certain foods and liquids can exacerbate symptoms, while others can help maintain a healthy bladder and bowel. Educational initiatives on diet and hydration can empower seniors with the knowledge to make informed choices that mitigate their symptoms, enhancing their autonomy and quality of life. Physical activity is beneficial not only for general health, but also for improving incontinence. Exercises specifically targeting the pelvic floor can strengthen muscles and improve bladder control. Success stories such as that of Emma, an 80-year-old yoga enthusiast, highlight how targeted exercises can significantly reduce symptoms and improve lifestyle independence. The market for incontinence products has evolved, offering a variety of options that cater to different needs and lifestyles. From more absorbent pads to discrete wearable devices, innovation is enhancing the quality of life for many seniors. Understanding these advancements allows individuals to make choices that best suit their needs, promoting a sense of control and dignity.
Caregivers play a crucial role in managing senior incontinence. However, the emotional and physical demands can be overwhelming without proper support and resources. Training programs and support networks for caregivers can alleviate stress and improve the care they provide, ultimately benefiting both caregivers and seniors. Awareness and advocacy are key to improving the legal and policy framework surrounding senior care. Current protections vary widely, and there are significant gaps in ensuring the rights and dignity of seniors within continents. Advocating for comprehensive policies that address these needs is essential for creating a supportive environment that upholds seniors' rights to quality care and dignity. Community involvement is instrumental in supporting seniors with incontinence. Local initiatives can provide practical support, reduce isolation, and foster a more inclusive society. Examples from communities that have successfully implemented supportive programs provide a blueprint for replication, emphasizing the power of collective action. Education is a powerful tool in changing perceptions about incontinence. By increasing awareness and understanding, we can reduce stigma and support seniors more effectively. Campaigns and programs that educate the public and healthcare professionals can lead to better care practices and more compassionate community attitudes. Empowering seniors to manage their incontinence with confidence is vital. This includes training in emotional resilience, providing tools for self-management, and sharing inspiring stories of seniors who have successfully navigated these challenges. Such strategies enhance independence, reduce stigma, and promote a more fulfilling life for seniors facing incontinence. In conclusion, addressing the challenges of senior incontinence with dignity requires a multi-dimensional approach that includes education, support, and advocacy. It's not merely about managing a medical condition, but about enhancing the quality of life and dignity for our seniors. As we move forward, let us all commit to transforming our approach to senior incontinence from one of silence and stigma to one of support and dignity. Let's not just change lives, let's uplift them.